At its beginnings, the nation of Singapore had more than 60 islands. One of these islands was Pulau Brani, meaning Isle of the Brave. And legends say that the island got its name from brave Orang Laut natives, who died defending it from pirates. You! You! I don't know for sure if this local folklore is true. One thing remains certain. The island's legacy of courageous valor was passed on. In 1967, the separation between Singapore and Malaysia had just taken place and the Singapore Navy was in her infancy with only two wooden ships. With an urgent need to build a defence force, Plans to purchase more capable ships were set in motion. The fleet grew so exponentially that a proper base was needed to establish the Republic of Singapore Navy. Pulau Brani was chosen because of its huge land space and became the Navy's first base in 1974. Thus, the baton of valor was passed down from one generation of island warriors to another. Brani was very special because it was our first home. We have a place where we finally built from scratch a Navy. During those days, training was very tough. All our training and patrol missions were on board Panglima. It's so small, only the commanding officer's cabin got the luxury of having a fan. No aircon, you know. So it is always sticky and humid on board. We don't expect the sea to be calm like a mirror. Suddenly, you have strong wave. Wow, the bow keep on pitching. Bada bum, bada boom. Then these people cannot take it. They start throwing out. There were actually no bunks on board. We had to sleep on the deck itself. And then it's wooden. We have to get the crew to scrub the deck using the sea sand to get rid of those stains. Everything was done manually. It was a lot of hard work. We love the Navy. If you don't love the sea, I don't think you want to come and serve. Tell me, how was it like being the first RSM of a young Navy? When I first took over, it was very daunting, yes. There are so many like 5,000 officers under my charge. But I say to myself, take the challenge without fear. I was very harsh on them, no nonsense. Discipline means discipline. To one of the cadet, I still remember. So he come and report to me, Sir, sir, the toilet choked. Lah. What, what do you want me to do? Use your hand. Yes, go and do it. On the other hand, I also make sure I treat them as if they are my children. Although harsh, but the tender care is there. Today, they look at me and say, you are the one, because of you, what we are today. You must have had all kinds of people in your family. Wow, we have sailors, we have divers, we have electricians, we have shipwrights, we have engineers, but the most important thing we have is a shark man. Shark man? Yes, shark man. In fact, he's just there. Then, this is Tai Li San, the shark man. He has caught uh, seven sharks wow. in Pulau Brani. This is a good place for shark to come in. First, the water is warm. Secondly, it's shallow. But once in a while, the divers, they have to go down to clean the hull. So, it's my responsibility to protect the divers and ensure they are in a safe environment. I caught a bigger shark in Singapore, which is 300 kg. Wow, how did that happen? The uh, divers, when they were doing hull cleaning here, and one of them spotted a shark swimming head on to them. They scream out from the ships. It took me three days to lay the baits, which is a float plus a steel wire and a two inch nylon rope. It was on a Saturday morning when everybody's swimming in from the mainland. Quartermaster on duty saw a shark that slipped out from the water. The quartermaster shouted and said, Shark, 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 because the whole ship sway one side. I dragged it to the ship side. 
and struggled with the sharks for about an hour. So anytime when anybody sighted the sharks again, they will come to me to ensure the protection of the divers. I think a lot of people enjoy the life on the island itself, you know, because like free and easy, like one family. Early in the morning, we jog around this island. After that, you can go to the cook house, have your breakfast, and walk slowly down about 10 minutes to where the ship is. We also watch the sunset at the end of the jetty. There's plenty of fresh air. Everybody know each other. So it's a very, very good life. I feel that when I visited Changi Naval Base, I can see the changes that's taken place, you know. Now we have advanced ships, high techs and even submarines. It's a big achievement as a small navy. And I feel very proud that we see the navy actually grow from strength to strength. I'm proud that we are part of it. Once a navy man, always, always a, a navy, navy man. man. The Republic of Singapore Navy did not stay in its infancy long. Quick growth and expansion of the fleet meant that it needed more space. In 2000, Brani Naval Base was officially closed and Changi Naval Base with five times the birding space became operational as the RSN's new naval base. Brani was then taken over by the police coast guard and the island continued its legacy as a home to the defenders of the sea. The island nation of Singapore and the sea is indivisible. The sea lines of communication are crucial to Singapore and much of our economy depends on the safety of our sea lanes. The pioneers like Mr. Wee and Tai built the strong and effective navy that we have today, working with all other arms of our defence force to ensure the nation's peace. As with the island of Brani, as the old gives way to the new, the same spirit of courage and duty continues to blaze on, keeping our waters safe and protecting our homeland.